guys, welcome to Vet Branch. I'm Dr. Carrie, and these little puppies don't have a name yet, but they were dumped um, on some property, and they are obviously complete strays. So they have very little hair, and they're really scared too, so they haven't had a whole lot of human interaction. So don't have much hair here. Um, they're covered in fleas, very thin. We fed them some food, and they acted like they haven't eaten in weeks. Lots and lots of fleas, tons of flakes. They smell really, really bad, like they have really bad skin infection. Um, I'm going to guess they're probably about 10 weeks old, so pretty young little pups. This one's a boy. And then this is his little sister. Come on. I'm guessing they probably have sarcoptic mange, which is why I'm wearing gloves, so we are going to definitely skin scrape them and be able to tell kind of what's going on here. It's okay. She's a lot more shy than he is. See, she's missing a lot of hair here and there's just crust everywhere. So we will skin scrape them and, and then we're gonna get a stool sample too and see what kind of GI parasites they have. You are the definition of a mangy mutt. Yes, you are. They're gonna be so cute when we're done. So I am literally just taking a scalpel blade and scraping the skin. When we say skin scraping, that's exactly what we mean. Trying to get a bunch of that crust and kind of exudate and then suspending it in some mineral oil on a slide so that, that I can look on the slide and see if there's little sarcoptic mange mites on here. I just wanted to try to show you this little mite that the puppies have. So I'm trying to be really still so you can see it. It looks almost like a little caterpillar, and if you look close, you can see it moving. So this is what we have in both of those little puppies. Um, and that is Demodex, so that's Demodectic Mange. So hopefully you can see that pretty well. They're everywhere. We are rechecking our little girl. We're actually calling her Bindi. Um, unfortunately, her brother stopped eating um, probably a day after he got home from the first video, from the first treatment. And then he passed away very quickly after that, very quickly. Um, and we actually did a post-mortem exam and tested him for Parvo, and he was strongly positive for Parvo. So that was just unexpected and crazy because he didn't, we didn't have any warning and he just died, you know. Part of that can be because their immune system is so underdeveloped and they've got such serious problems that his body did not help him fight it off at all. Even more peculiar is that she never broke with Parvo. Never had any issues, never stopped eating. We don't know why that is. Maybe her immune system is stronger. Um, we're really sad that her brother didn't make it, but we're really thankful at least that she didn't break and we didn't lose her too. So three weeks after the first checkup and her skin is already looking a lot better. So see all this hair has grown back in. She's still got a lot of crust on her face, which is to be expected. Um, and she's gained weight. So we are so happy with her progress. So we're going to continue on with antibiotics, bathing twice a week, daily medications for the mange, um, especially because she's still got a lot of thickening and kind of issues here. And then we will see her back in three weeks for her next puppy boosters. Today we were just rechecking our little Bindi and we were amazed at how, um, how good her skin looks and it's completely healed up. That we're going to go ahead and spay her and do her last set of vaccines so that she can go to a forever home. We just want to say thanks to the awesome rescue that's kind of fostering her, which is Hunt County Pets Alive. And <laughs> they're going to get her into a forever home. And she is such a good dog and she's really come out of her shell. I want to read you guys this letter that we got and it's from Abby Friedman. And it's really neat. Check out the envelope. Cool. Okay, it says, <clears throat> Hi, my name is Abby Friedman. I'm from New Jersey. I'm 13 years old and I love all of your vet ranch videos. I really love everything that you do to save the animals. So I did a project to raise the money for you. You have really inspired me and I'm thinking about vet school. I would really hope you would read this in a video. It would make my day. Hopefully you can save them all from Abby. P.S. I hope the money helps and I'm an animal lover as well. I have a dog and two gerbils. Let me just show you the picture of their dog and her two gerbils. That's awesome. We really love to get stuff like this because it really shows us that the next generation of animal rescuers and animal advocates are out there and you know someday we are going to need people to take over for us and hopefully that ranch is around forever. Um, also one really cool thing that Abby did was um, she had her bar mitzvah and she made a video mashup of her, some of her favorite vet ranch cases 
And she had people donate to that ranch instead of bringing her any gifts, which is so noble and it really touched us. So we just want to say thank you so much, Abby. Um, and then we also got a lot of donations in the mail she may not even know about that were made um, in honor of Abby. So that was also really neat. But we just want to say thank you guys so much for watching our videos. Um, thank you for letters like Abby's because it really touches our heart and allows us to do what we love. Today we are saying goodbye to our little Bendy. She's such a precious girl and we're going to miss her so much, but we know she's going to get a home really quickly because she's so cute. Um, obviously we miss her brother. We're sad that he didn't make it from Parvo, but we are grateful that um, people surrendered her or people brought her into us that found them as strays, just dumped at their house. And so we're so glad they brought her in um, and gave her a second chance and we were able to save her. <laughs> Thank you guys for all your donations and support. We'll see you next time. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong, babe. I know what you're going through. I know cause I've been there too. I don't walk right and I don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong, but I wanna be there for you, honey. Working my job and making money. But I wanna be cool for you, baby. And I, I'm just a 